Hello, hello. It's time for more of the Death Store. Because I am obsessed with this video's game. This is it is very good. sure that it pops up here. There we go. Okay. So, last I left off, um, we killed the Frog King and then went on to the mountains to go kill the beast. We got the hook shot very cool, the grappling hook, uh, which then let me get this huge purple sword, which I love, so that's good. Um, and then I did play some yesterday off stream, um, just doing a bunch of, uh, like, backtracking to look for secrets. And I mostly found orbs, um, just for souls and stuff. Actually, I have enough to spend, I should spend uh, some of what I got. But I also found some life and mana crystals, so I'm at five pips of each. And um, I found a couple of other secrets that I decided to do on stream. Um, so I will start the stream with those to knock those out because they are very intri intriguing. Um, and there were some changes around the office. Oh, I found some shiny things too. I found... Um, I found the Undying Blossom, which was in the... Like, there was that tower that said, uh, this tower has a twin, inside a uh, secret is hidden within, or whatever. Um, and you just find it, and, like, the camera's rotated to the other side. You can see, like, the eight windows that make those eight lights in the tower you find first. You just walk in, there's the Undying Blossom. Um, uh, I found a Sludge-Filled Urn. Um, I think this was in... Uh, the Urn Witch's place, and it was on the way to a crystal, I think, a mana crystal or something. Um, that I had, I think? Uh, and I, I found, no, I found Grunt's old mask a while ago. Maybe I found this yesterday, I don't remember. But, um, yeah. There's changes around the office, um, this little duder is all inky, so I don't know what Chandler or Agatha have to say right now. The creatures are so colorful. They're giving me a migraine. You're coming through the doors that you left open. Honestly, you're turning my office into into dimensional Swiss cheese. If I get into trouble for this, I am not going to be happy with you. Yeah, I guess so, bud. Baby! My little friend got into my ink supply, the poor dear. Although, she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. Ink, ink, it, it lets out a stink. But I love it so much I could pr practically drink it. Ink baby. Oh, I also, um, took a gander at the achievements. Um... I can get one of them right now, I believe, by just doing... Nope. Hi. For, um, I just blow it up. For going through without setting off the metal detector. Huh. Well, I guess I don't know how to solve that then. So, that's fine. But, let's go ahead and go to. The secrets I found that I didn't want to explore off stream. And then. 
Lovely Vaga. After we get those secrets, I'm gonna go back to um, Fisherman's whatever. And uh, do some backtracking there. Because it won't take long. I don't think I can get 10 here. I think I have to go into the garden to get a, a conga line of 10. Unless I have to do it with a... Sorry, it's, it was another demon that I saw. Was, um, get a conga line of 10 forest spirits. But I don't... Might have to do that, like, in an actual level. Between life seed pots. Which sounds like pain. But, um... The first secret is in the Lost Cemetery. Gotta figure out if I can remember... Where? Oh, why did I go this way? This isn't the shortcut way. Whatever. We're here now. the sun. Huh? I guess, yeah, I would just have to chain four, like, pots together. I don't think it's impossible, but, um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Now, I'm going for secrets. Uh, oh, I figured out what these, um, little circles do. The little circles that I thought were, like, teleport circles. Um, I noticed that a lot of them were right next to a ledge. I decided, well, I got a plunging attack. Um, and it turns out they work just like the little, um, metal sewer caps from Super Mario Sunshine. I'll see if I can get to one to show it off. Yeah, here we go. This is actually how I get to one of the secrets. Anyway, so... Just slam through, and then it looks exactly like it did in Mario Sunshine. Just go down here, hop up. There was a whole, like, string of them in uh, the Urn Witch's, like, gardens. That got me, like, I don't know, like, five orbs. Speaking of orbs, I meant to spend souls before I left, but, uh, whatever. We're gonna worry about it later. So this got me an orb up on that platform, and then there was a bombable wall here. This is the second one of these I found. Um, it's the first one we're gonna be doing today. Uh, a door with a little bomb uh, icon on it. Which I'm pretty sure I know what, me what it means, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Because I looked at the- oh, achievements! Oh, God. Oh god! I was about to die! But I killed him instead. Silent Servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your bomb spell now no longer damages you, only your foes. That's cool as hell. Um, so I've seen another door like this that we're gonna get to soon uh, that had the fire symbol over it. Uh, so there are these doors that 
upgrade your spell abilities, which is really cool. And those are the only two I've found. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm certain based on the achievements that I looked through, uh, that you can upgrade all four of your spells. What they do, I don't know. Obviously. If I had to guess, fire gets bigger. Um, hook shot goes longer. Uh, an arrow has like a triple shot. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it makes one of them free. That'd be cool. Probably not, but that'd be cool. Um, and then we have another secret that I found in the Lost Cemetery that isn't the fire one. Just gotta remember how to get back to it. Oh, I think I remember. I think it's this away. Honk! People are honking outside. Always exciting, I suppose. And is this way? Question mark? Go in here and spend my souls and heal, actually, real quick. Just to not continually forget that. power. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can remember. Oh yeah, in here, this was just a cobweb. You burn it down, fall down here. I found this area with a whole bunch of caskets. That's right, right? right. Oh god, that's so many beebles. Good. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea to kill all, every beeble in here, but, uh... I just wish I could see. Okay, gate there probably opens from that, uh... Fire thing. Had I digress? Ladder up there? Is that a shiny thing? It looks like a compass. Ah, I'm smart. One sec. Hydrate. It's important. that way. It's just a way out, probably. Nope, it's just an orb. And then also a way out. Two orbs for one secret, so far. Oh, that's where that gate goes. Okay. But then we will go around. So many beetles. I 
wonder if this is so fire based because you need fire to get into it, or if there's like a gauntlet for each uh, each spell. That'd be cool. Like a little spell dungeon. Probably not. It's probably just all fire solutions because you only need fire to get in here. Oh, I found a, um, I super don't, I think it was a, it was, the reward was a shrine for a crystal, but I found a, um, like the lead up to it was, um, oh god, that's far. Uh, the lead up to it was like a gauntlet of like stuff spawning like that, and the final one was one of those thick ass knights that, um, but it, it was a poison type. And like all its slams left a poison puddle, and oh my god, it was such a pain in the ass to kill. I died maybe like eight or nine times before I got it, got it down. Eh, maybe not that much. It was like five or six, I think, actually. But it was uh, it was rough. Okay, so I've been disproven. It requires uh, every spell in here. Oh god, I have to do this quickly, because these are timed ones. Oh! Didn't let me shoot again. There we go. Yep. I don't have mana. Grind out magic real quick. <sighs> I mean, that's enough mana, but I might as well get full. Right there. Oh, here's the, uh, the archery upgrade. Okay. That's cool how you have to use all the spells to get to the upgrade where you, for the bow. Love that. It's very cool and fun. Oh, right, you do that. Hey, that's a bomb ability. Oh, I can't. I can't reflect that. Oh, it's not following me. It's circling. Okay. Ah, well. Death. Retry. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to trek all the way back here. Oh, those aren't for me. Those are for those are for him. Ah, oh, fucking asshole. I think this is meant to be the one you face last. Based on everything that's happening. I bet you the fire one doesn't have the bomb ability. I bet you the hookshot one adds the um, hookshots around here. Or maybe the fire one has the circling instead of the bomb ability. Oh, that would make sense. So then this one just combines them all. 
Silent Servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Holding your arrow spell for longer will now charge your shot and cause more damage. Oh, okay, it's just more damage. I guess. That's, that's alright. Hoping for a triple shot, but... It costs the same, at least. Eh, just two levels of charge. That's alright. It's not too bad. I just gotta... Make my way out of here. And I don't know where the hookshot upgrade is, but if I had to guess, it would be in the Fisherman's Quarry or whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Quarry? Why would a fisherman be in a quarry? Hello? Whatever. Stop that. Okay. So, now we need to go to the Iron Witch's place. I'm just gonna walk to, because it's like the entrance area. It's not too far. I thought for sure that place with all the, like, um... Caskets or whatever would be related to Steadhone's thing. But alas, was not. This one. This just had cobwebs on it. Burn it down, go in here, find the fire upgrade. Very simple. Oh. Yeah, it has the circling ones. Oh god. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, you get three, okay. Fuck. Ooh. Oh, just need one hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, dude. Silent Servant has been vanquished, and their soul power added to yours. Fireball spell now burns enemies for extra damage over time. Okay, cool. I'm down with that. Don't know how much damage the bomb does, but that might mean the fire is the most damaged now? I mean, I'm still gonna just, just hit stuff with a giant sword, but like, you know. Okay. Back to the mountains. I'm gonna start from the cemetery so that I can do some secret hunting again. What's in here? It's just like an orb, that's right. I would like to see a life seed pot, but I don't know. I will. Go to the summit. The summit is where I need to go. No, the summit is, um... Where Death Star is? Question mark? I wanna go that way. I think. The Stranded Sailor. That's what that place is called. Oh, maybe it'll upgrade the grappling hook to do damage. That'd be cool. I think it does do damage. I think it does like a very little amount of damage actually, now that I think about it. It feels very cool to use in combat at the very least, because it pulls you to enemies. But I rarely disconnect anyway. Oh, a shiny thing. Um... Yeah. 
You are a token of death. You know. Ancient cultures used to place these over the eyes of the deceased as a payment to the god of death for ferrying them to the afterlife. People from ancient cultures must have had big eyes. True. The coin that used to be placed over the eyes of the deceased in ancient rit funeral rituals and originally belonged to Stedhone the Gravedigger and probably came from one of the funerals he conducted. Stedhone is honor bound to lay those to rest to lay to rest those who have passed and wish them peace to the afterlife. Or wish them peace beyond life. Cool if I read the words that were on the screen into, instead of making up my own words. Damn, okay. What are you two doing here? Let me in. I wanna be- oh, okay. I wanna go in there. What's up there? Nothing. Oop. Found a way in. I shouldn't go in here with one HP. Oh well, there's been uh, there's been pots between each of the behind or uh, next to all of these. Because I could have healed my way out, but I forgot. Let's upgrade the last spell then, I guess. Yep, he has these. He has six of them though. What does he do when he's over there? Oh, he just does this and. so bad. I killed the archery one. Ow. Ow! So I get for talking shit, I guess. Ah! Come on, man. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Those do- that does hurt, if he hits you with that. Ow. Ah, fuck. Also, why did my sword change? Hey, my boots. Playing Death's Door for the third time. On straight. Ow, oh, God. found these little doors off stream that upgrade your spells and I just kind of accidentally went on a gauntlet of them. I only knew where two of them were and uh, just kind of found all four. Oh god! All six of them, motherfucker. Go for it. All right. Gotcha. 
This game is very fun. I've been having a blast with it. It's made by the same uh, devs as Titan Souls, I believe, if you ever saw that. Um, I never beat Titan Souls because I'm not very good at it, but I might give it another shake after having had so much fun with this game. Hookshot spell now does a powerful slash if you use your sword while pulled towards the target! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm gonna test that. Hold on. Does it work on hookshot things or does it only work on enemies? Yes! Holy shit! Love that. Love that. Any game with a- true. Any game with a hookshot is a good game, and any game with a double jump is a good game. Are there any games with both? Maybe. Hey, Pothead. Hello again, Beakface! How goes your adventure? I'd like to stop by the Stranded Sailor to refresh my stocks of Jefferson's delicious soup. He's an odd fellow, but a great chef! Cool. Poggers, even. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the Stranded Sailor itself to do, because I think all the secrets were tied to getting the big sword. Back to Jesperson. All customers float by each day. Word must be spreading about my delicious fish head soup. Most of them ask me, Hey, J-Man, my guy, my pal. What's with that sweet-looking cephalopod on your back? And I tell them straight. It's a neat backpack, which I fashioned for myself out of an old tart. I use my opposable thumbs, which are things I definitely have. They're always very impressed. Now, could I prepare any sustenance for you, my fellow land dweller? Yeah, what's up, man? Great! One delicious meal, coming up. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digited mammal hands. Fuck chopsticks. Now, let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. Behind a powerful witch's house lies a secret, accessible from the west side. To find it, you must look for openings in the hedge. I thought I found that one. I heard there's a cracked wall deep in some dank dungeons with a secret behind. Perhaps applying a large force to that wall might open a path. Dank dungeons. Since the Frog King flooded the lands to the east, many old structures have become inaccessible. One such structure can still be reached by firing an arrow into the distance through a stone arch. Hey, excuse you? How would I have figured that out? That's all I have for you now. Okay. I know about the first one, but I don't know the solution to it. Um, the second one I thought I had done. Or no, no, I don't know the first one, because that's about the lead. That's about the hedge. Second one, I don't remember. Hey, Grunt. Mm -mm -mm. Jefferson make delicious soup. He has dark secret not many people know. Nah, and... Cool. Read that last time. And he's, de he's very nice and he's definitely alive. Um... God, that's gonna bug me, because I thought I went through the hedge. I'm gonna go back there and go secret hunting before I continue on with the game. souls do I have? Oh, I can buy another upgrade. Let's do that, then. Uh, upgrade my magic. Oh, I wonder if that, uh, increases the power of my hook slot slot. Hook slot? Hook shot? Hook? Hook? The big one. The one with the, yeah, the one I got. Manor, that's in the manor. Inner furnace. State of the Urn Witch. I think it's the estate I want to go to. Yes. Okay. We're going west, if we're looking for a, a notch in the hedge. I thought I had done. That brought me to. Yeah, it was this one. It's just 
just had an orb. Other openings in the head. I'm on top of the hedge. Oh. There's some openings. Doesn't help me. Gets me a life seed, I guess. Um. I'm pretty sure I did all of the little ways through the, the sewer area. But this takes me out of the west. Maybe he was just talking about the life seed. Seems a little silly to talk about the life seed for secret stuff. There's this, which is still a mystery to me. There's definitely a secret here, I just don't know it. I don't know how to solve it. in the ledge, but I don't think that helps anything. Oh, it might. Here's another one. That'll let me in the water, which lets me in here. Ho ho ho! A secret! Ooh, a magic crystal! Cashmere Poncho in 14? Uh, I mean, I probably could. Um, just shoot a message in our, in the Crossworld link shell and see who's on. Does a bunch of us have crafters level? I don't know off the top of my head. I would have to look on the market board. Can we trade anything to you though? Aren't you still in the free trial? I don't believe we can trade. Now I want to go through the entire manor and look for openings in the hedge. Sh shouldn't take long, but I mean, it's like, you know. That's a good combo, yeah. Cowboy Lala. Did I go this way? I think so. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. 
Uh... Ooh, that screams secret to me. Whole ledge. I don't know if you can get up there though, so maybe it's not a secret. That's just, uh, just design. Yeah, there's no opening there. Hey! Wait, did I? I went there, right? That's part of the system that I went through. There's the gate. Open. Oh, not what I meant to hook shot onto. There we go. And all the way around here. I'm sure I did. I had to have. I'm pretty sure there he is good. I'll just I'll just talk to Jeffson. Uh later on. Whenever I'm wrapping stuff up, I guess. But for now we're gonna go back to the stranded sailor and continue on with the video game. Once I, once I fight the beast, um, I don't think it'll lock me in, so I'll go secret hunting again then. Try the sailor. Be sure it's exhausted of secrets because of getting this sword. a lockstone. Back at it again. Could've just taken the door to get here, but whatever. We're here now. A little bit of backtracking to get some stuff. to remember I might have been in the stranded sailor um actually I might need to go back actually there was that um a place with the really tall ladders and it had one of the little little flippy gates to remember where that is Thank you. 
all the way down here to turn around. And ooh, there's an offshoot. Come back to that. And before it's a dead end. He wouldn't do that to me, would it? It wouldn't give me a dead end in the sewer section. would bring me to a shiny thing. Got an ancient crown. Feels unusual to the touch, as if it once contained life. Ancient crown were worn by the first Lord of Doors. The lords are beings of pure soul energy, only able to hold corporeal form thanks to their armor binding their soul to this world. Made from a metallic yet organic material, each descendant has its armor forged by the preceding lord. However, the creation of the first lord remains a mystery. Interesting. Let's see, other directions that I either have been in or have not been in. I've been in this direction. I feel like there's a secret if I stand here. There's not. I'm stupid. <laughs> Use the arrow. Should be the required way because you do have to go get the grappling hook. That was a very simple application of it. Here lies Lord Opengate, the third in the lineage of the lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. A ruler skilled at delegation, they spent many of their years expanding their knowledge while traveling the vastness of space. Pog! Open that. Oh, cutscene. Oh, okay. Interesting. Need to go light those four things. Oh shit! I get to talk to them? Greetings, young Reaper. Your presence here is quite a conundrum. It would indicate that the course of events that which started with the formation of Death Star has led the universe to the brink of great peril. However, it's also indicative of those actions correcting themselves. Life is merely the universe experiencing itself. And, as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as parts of it, are all acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path, young Reaper. I can sense victory in your future. Cool! Uh, drop me down here, which I don't remember where it is. I was here two days ago. You would think I could remember uh, a little bit. It's like a, a smidge. Okay, that drops him back here. That was the third lord. Is there no way to do the first lord over here? where the, the gate was, or the door, rather. Let's 
Let's just try up here for now. In this way, though. Lord Theodore, first successor, the first successor. Their transition to power was smooth in their reign egalitarian. Read to you last time. this room again. It's the door I came out of. Obvi. Hmm. Oh, there's a hook shot up there. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, it went this way. Okay, right, right, right. Okay. They'll get my bearings. Uh, it's not cold enough. What do you mean? It needs to be colder. in what, like the 50s? The 60s? We can survive that. It's not that bad. I was in this room, I'm pretty sure. Here lies Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a, make a deal with death. Their legacy is inestimable and their reign absolute. The cold ruler concerned with law and order who consolidated power and would go on to build the foundation of the Hall of Doors. Let's light this bitch up. I got Vermonter blood. I want it to be colder. This is the resting place of we, the Lords of Doors. I am Lord Lockstone, for whom this crypt was named. We Lords of Doors were an anomaly. Mistake of the universe, some might say. But it, is that not an apt description of all life? A mistake of the universe, one which grows and thrives. Existence born into consciousness. And to preserve that consciousness is the most important and noble goal. I guess? Fireball does not... Uh, bring you to anchors on the screen. That. How do I get through there? They're not a switch, perhaps? Maybe a leafer? No? Okay. That's fine. Place.
Which letter? Oh, letter. Okay. It's nice of them, I suppose. Ah, my brain hurts already. Ah, oh, there's a ladder. Okay, it's fine. Um, so I do this, and this, this, this. This, this, and this. Okay. My brain is fine. Normal sized and not the size of a bird's. I'll go through the key door first. Actually. Regrets. Oh, that was easy. There we go. Now I can light up this dude's. Sweet child, look at what has happened to your life at the hands of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession before their death, and teaches them the lord's path. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was try, to try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do right by the living, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. If opportunity presents itself, child, ending the cycle would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to that ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will reach it on their own. I got you, homie. I eat cycles for breakfast. Oh, no, wait, though, they're, no, they're called combos, not cycles. Never mind. I'll do it anyway, though. The cool room. Oh, the fourth one. Realize Lord Deadbolt. The fourth in the lineage of the Door Lords. Their role was dark, but produced efficiency among Reapers. An overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. Why don't I read it again? The sign's not gonna have anything different to say. I am very smart. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho? Oh, no. An elevator. I've seen those before. My life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty and mine alone. The Lord who created me had grand illusions about fate and purpose, but fate did not bind, bind me to death's door, duty did. No other could take on the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful anachronism that is death. When my time finally drew to a close, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I fear that rain may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Uh, ooh. Sneaky sneaky. 
aqui. Oh, a shiny thing. We found some kind of signed contract? How exciting! That is exciting. Death contract. This appears to be some kind of contract. It resonates an uncanny energy. It's been written in an ancient text you can't read. I can't read it because it's not on there. I would say. And I to guess. Ain't nothing on it. Lever. Importante. Shiny things that I'm missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine of them. Okay. Oh, that was the other gate to here. Okay. I want to know how to open that gate up on the left side. Oh, I meant to talk to Barb. No. Let me down. I want to talk to Barb. Aw. Jokes on you, elevator. We're going back down. So I have to talk to my friend. Hi. Hey, you got that old elevator working. Perfect timing too. I just finished the next chapter of my song. You'll be wanting to hear it, I imagine. All right, here we go. Stunned silence. That's what I was expecting. Alright then, I'll meet you further up the mountain. Don't get into too, any trouble on the way. At least not without me. You got it, Barb. Betcha. to our camp. See you soon. That's how you pronounce words that are cut in half. You didn't know. Ooh, bitch. That shit cool. This way. Or can't go that way. Music in this game is so beautiful. been streaming an hour? <laughs> I didn't realize. What little... 
Japanese style little roofs here. Oh, it's my shadow. I'm like, what the fuck's that? the commission. I don't need to use it, but cool to have. Oh, I'll go through it. Fuck it. Saves my game at the very least. Camp of the Free Crows. Don't have a key. Not save it. Oh, I had to use it. Never mind. I'm gonna save it even if I wanted to. Baga! Oh shit! Welcome to the camp of the Free Crows, old friend. I knew you'd make it here eventually. Even if you needed a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> We're a group of free thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord of Doors. We do not want unnatural immortality, even if it must come at the cost of our lives. What is the point of living forever, if it's to be as a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb even higher. Defeat the beast at the top of the mountain and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. We all abandoned our assignments, which means our life now ticks away. However, we are happier for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. There is a peace in knowing our lives have meaning, no matter how insignificant. Make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. <laughs> no, I don't get to talk to you. Oh, I do. Welcome, Fortalb Crow. They have a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. We even use fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bedding. Please make yourself at home. Rest well before the fight ahead. The Fort Hood Crow, it is an honor to meet you. Did you find any of our shrines on your journey? It seems there are still six shrines you have yet to find. I'm sure they will help you in, on your journey in the fight with the beast atop the mountain. Seems there's still six shrines. Blah blah blah. Okay. I'll find them. I'll find them. Oh, they're in the little houses up there. Love it. Greetings, Fort Hold Crow. This is the gate of knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things. And its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need guidance. Or told your arrival and your destiny. I'm sure when your time comes, you will feel its wisdom guide you towards the correct path. Canyon. Exercise caution. Doesn't sound like it's up the mountain, so maybe I should go- Hey, Barb! Phew! It's, uh, it's quite a steep climb getting up there. My pipes are still wheezing. Must be pleased as punch, though, huh? I mean, a secret crow society up here on the mountains? Who knew? They have so many great stories about their lives up here, especially about the beasts atop the mountain. Yeah, I am getting so much inspiration on our adventure. I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written. And I've written more than five. 
Once ready to hunt, hunt down the mountain beast, I'll be right behind you. Well, at a safe distance. Go to the beast lair. Oh, they made the signs around the place. That's cool. Love that. Let's see. Can I light all these on fire? Nope. Can't light any of them on fire, in fact. Let's check out the frozen canyon first. Woo! Probably like a little challenge area or whatever. Oh, okay, that lets me go back. Gotcha. Ah, did it. I did it too quick. It's actually like super tight. Is that it? Just a little obstacle course for a shrine? I mean, I'm fine with that, but like, you know. I got two more health shrines and three more mana shrines to find. I don't want to go backtracking now, since I have all the abilities. It's my stream. I can backtrack whenever I want. Something about the flooded fortress with um to the east, shooting an arrow through an archway. Or not the flooded fortress, but the the swamp. Not this way. You dumb bird. No, not Mushroom Dungeon, not Throne of the Frog King, Overground Ruins. Go to the east. It says nothing about the east. Maybe talk to Jefferson again instead. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that thing. I need to get that thing. I forgot about that thing. Also, I missed an- oh my god, I did a terrible job trying to secret hunt here. Jesus. Downright embarrassing. Up on there. Do by just going up that ladder. Okay. And a malformed seed. Doesn't look like a normal seed. It appears quite rotten. Why are you holding it? 
Nowhere to go, and left unreaped, the souls upon this island linger until they're drawn to nearby life. Whatever soul lashed onto the sea has twisted and corrupted it into an aberration. If it grew now, it's doubtful any good would come of it. There was an archway out here, wasn't there? Something like that? No? Oh yeah, it was this place. This had the, the poison thick night. Uh, led to a magic shrine. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. off into the distance. Hmm. Well, let me explore to the east again, I guess. Let's see what we can find. I think he says something about the east. I should probably just go back to Jefferson and fucking ask again, but... He's stubborn. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to, is I'm too stubborn. Yeah, there's something about the mushroom uh, dungeon also, with a cracked wall. I believe that, actually, because I think I remember another cracked wall and I did not get back to it. Jesus, okay. God, that feels so cool. <laughs> I'll go to the dungeon, mushroom dungeon for now, and then I'll go back to Jefferson about the other fucking thing. Get another hint. Gotta be something about this circle. Got a goblin head and everything. Doesn't mean anything, but I feel like it should mean something. Settlement, right? Yeah. A little K. 
camp. Uh. Little romp through the mushroom dungeon again. anyway. Wanna be thorough. that up. The secret I had gotten. Our king's domain. Okay, I did do that. Obviously, because that's where I went to kill the frog king. I guess that's like two hits. No, I kill you in two hits. One and a half hits? Break boxes with this? I can't. Oh, fire puzzle to get a key. That other door. This door was. This opened up the shortcut into the the main room. and we get another pip. The last and final pip. Okay. That's that. I don't know what it's talking about with the arrow thing. I feel like I should continue to scour the mushroom dungeon because I clearly did a this poor job uh, getting all the secrets in here. Hammer room doesn't do it. I don't think the flooded fortress is gonna have anything, but I might as well check it since I didn't check it before. Um, as the the furnace didn't have anything in the Urnwitch's place, so it's like, well, flooded fortress probably doesn't have anything because it's meant to be this gauntlet 
leading up to the boss fight. Which it was, but, um... I don't know. It's worth, worth a shake, I guess. I would run through the furnace. I'd run through the flooded fortress. It's only... Sensible. Hi, Betty. It's bird. Oh god, there's no, oh, I thought there was no music here for a second. I was like, ah. I guess there was something in the in the furnace, but it was like leading up to it. Technically. We'll see. We'll do a little run through of the fortress. I see. Okay, well that's the archway that he was talking about, so I don't have to go back to Jeffson about that. Ah, just, you know, shrine, right here. Easy peasy. And a shrine. Three shrines to go. Cool, 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 cool. That's nothing. Clear clear. Oh. Looking around too much, not looking at where my feet are. up here. Is that not activate? Oh ha ha! A secret Mario Sunshine Circle. Just an orb, but you know. You know. An orb's an orb, not can buy another level. Ooh, there's an anchor there. That's something different. Get to the end. It's the 
anchor. I need to get up there somehow. But how? I wonder aloud. I think it's gonna be this way, but I'm gonna run this way anyway. Yes, for a second. I believe this just takes me straight to... Frog King? Maybe not. Or, you know, the Frog King's corpse. Oh, this brings me back to the start. I know, it brings me to the door. And brings me into the gauntlet. Which I am upset that there are enemies in. Or I wish there were not. Wanna explore? Ouch! Shit! You you hit me in the water, fucker! Oh my god! <laughs> what an asshole! Jesus! Let's try that again. Don't think there's. I think this is going to be a way to the secrets. I think I need to go back to the calm area. I mean, I guess I said that about a lot of things where I thought, oh, this isn't where secrets are. And, uh, lo and behold, there were secrets there. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck, come on. And you hit me. Ow! No, oh, wizards want to die so much? I'll kill you then. Fuck you. Secrets here. Can't do it very efficiently if I'm running all the time. Hard to keep an eye out, you know? Where the fuck am I going? Ask a lot of dudes. Ask a lot of dudes. Fine, everything's fine. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Yeah, I don't I don't think there was anything in the post door area. That's the frog king a bit in there, I've done that. Fun fight, cool music. Can't do it again. Uh, I want to go to Flooded Fortress and walk backwards. I guess I could have gone to Mushroom Dungeon, but eh, 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 eh. you know. Any day now, music. And make my stream not boring as hell. Hello? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Why is this wall gone here? Nope. 
No reason, I suppose. The secret. Saw some anchors. Now I can get to them. Don't know how. That is the issue. In it. Hold on. entrance. this secret the shrine you can't tell me that the angers are just decorative that would be silly that would be poor video game design This away, maybe? It went in the, um... The what's it? The, the, the... Mario Sunshine, uh, gate. in here. Well, 
doesn't help much. Like missing anchors and stuff. Answers that question. Huh. I feel like there should be another platform thingy that I need to hit. Smartest play is just to continue on the Jefferson advice. It feels like there should be platforms that come up right here and let me go along that way. Maybe there are? Maybe I have to hit this again? I have to backtrack? anything? Just a red herring? No shot. Oh! Hold on. I think I can hit that from here, though. Up there. Obviously, that's not going to do much at all. stuff up there. I don't know if that's the way in, or if that's the way... But it takes me. There's a ladder. Seems to imply that I can get up that way. The question is, how do I get over there? Little, this will take me into the gauntlet area. Follow this. touch anything. Or I just slid off. I can hear for a sec. I feel like... I don't know what I feel like. <laughs> I would love to increase my combat abilities, please. Please, 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 I've never asked for anything more in my life. The fastest way to get there. Is it this way? wizard. All wizards are rude if you really think about it.
If you show anything to a wizard, the wizard will find a way to insult it. The law of wizards. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> so I saw there was there was another thing to hit out there. But I didn't see an angle that I could hit it at. The problem. Unless I'm just supposed to fucking snipe it from here. I don't think that's true. Obviously I did this one, but I mean, it doesn't help me with the other one. I'm going here, so like this is gonna help me. I don't know, do I get there through the gauntlet? The gauntlet's all like south and west though, is where it takes me. Very clearly, there. Can you stop spawning, please? Begging you. Anchor. They come down. Slightly frustrating, actually. It shouldn't be, but... 
Shooting. I feel like I've scoured the entire map. I guess the answer is to fight through the gauntlet and, uh, fucking look again. I feel powerful with this cool sword. Ah, okay. So don't do that quite so willy nilly.
Ah, stop swinging a second time. Yeah, how to get over there. In the Frog King, but then uh, be a little silly, I would say. Nope. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go back to Jefferson. He's gonna tell me some other shit. I find those secrets. I'm going to be fine. Sailor. What is up, my dude? Yeah, maybe. A little something. A sewer not far from here that might lead to treasure. Right, I didn't need to find that. I knew that existed. Sewer after all. Bought out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove just north of here inside Castle Lockstone. Bought out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove. In the Lockstone. The very place you entered these forgotten lands. Okay. Let's go back to the grove, and it's going to cast lockstone for a keyhole-shaped thingy, and I need to go into the sewer, which I know is over here, and that I just you know, never went back to. It's over somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Oh god, girl, no! bear up here. Oh god. <laughs> Where was that sewer? I know it's around here somewhere. Clearly, because Jefferson told me about it. Not with Grunt. Pyong? Yes, yes, yes. Up here, up here, up here. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Yes, it's right here. Teleport over here, or rotate over here. Oh, come on. There we go. Up, up. 
Magic Shrine. One more Magic Shrine and one more Vitality Shrine. Thunder. What brings me up to this, homie? Oh god, your hands look terrible, my dude. Why don't I just fall down here and like... Okay, this is an invisible wall. Um, other places were the Forgotten Grove and the... Fuck, I've already forgotten. Um, Castle Lockstone. Castle Lockstone. I need to go to Lockstone. Will allow us to find a keyhole shaped hole. Whatever it was. Keyhole shaped holes, like Is it means in one of the outdoor areas? Probably. Question mark. It's in a keyhole shaped entrance. Realize how little that narrows it down. Keyhole shaped. Oh, yeah, there's this gate. Oh, shit. Aha! Push lever! There we go. Yeah, let's go. Last magic shrine. Blah. Ancient shrine offers you a shard from a magic crystal. Lady Crystal fills your soul with power, making your magic cast with capability. Six pips. Let's go. Gotta make my way back to a door so that we can go uh, to the grove. Oh.
Back to the grove. I had planned on this being, uh, possibly finishing the game stream, but, uh, I got distracted by secrets. It was like, here's the final boss. I'm like, oh god, when's the point of no return? Help. Huh, let's see. Did go back here. Ah, oh, there's an anchor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, guys, what you got? Found a makeshift soul key. Oh shit! This opens the uh the the the, the thing in the cemetery. Yo, let's go. Does go under shiny things. It appears to be a very rudimentary version of the door technology used by Reapers. It could, it could have been used to open a rift between the two locations, but the passage would have been unstable. It's certainly not up to commission standards. Not that it matters, as large swaths of the workings have melted and the machine no longer functions. Okay, maybe not. This is what, this is what the Grey Crow used to open that door. Never mind then. Y'all fall down with me. Yes, okay, I can get that achievement now. Uh, nine? I just need one more. There's a couple. Nope, oh, can't get those. Yay, conga line! Okay, secrets. Uh, that might be the only secret, just the shiny thing. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that was it. I think I need to go back to Jefferson for more clues. But. I want to pay a visit to Steadhone. I picked up a shiny thing related to him, the death coin. Curious if he will react. Should have taken the door, but uh, here we are. I remember how to get to Steadhome. I remembered. He's right here. What's poppin'? Okay, nothing. Oh. Back to Jefferson it is. Didn't have plenty of time before the live letter. So much shit at my desk. Jesus. Lepto bird. meal. The secret can be found at the very place you enter these forgotten lands. Okay, so there is something else there. Unless that machine does open that door? Or gate? Or whatever it is? Back to the 
the grove, and that's the last secret Jefferson has for us. Which means it's not going to tell me how to solve the urn thing. Probably. combo secret off of this one, or is it something completely different? I'm going to assume it is something completely different. I should see if there's anything that I can set on fire, actually. another anchor anywhere. I know of. Oh, a ramp! How do I get up there? Do I get up there? Do I get up there? This way, and hmm, I assume it's that ramp. Only other thing of note I can find. Just a matter of how I get there. Something to blow up? Not that I can see. I think it's gotta be that ramp, right? Um... The ramp leads down, maybe? No. This is not that ramp, because it doesn't lead anywhere. Just like... This area. See... How that would help anything. Way to get up there. Here. Huh. Jefferson says there's something else here, then there's something else here, but, uh... I guess conversely that means that the thing in the flooded forest with the anchors and whatnot is apparently fucking nothing. Even though there's a there's a crystal to hit. I'm like, what? Uh. 
You guys? Did he mean directly here? In the cemetery? Yep, yep, he should it. Let's go. Last shrine. Got it. Zen. Six pips each. Oh, and that's where this, uh, this comes down. I don't know how to do anything with this door, though. I guess maybe I don't. Maybe I don't do anything with that door. Maybe it opens later. Oh, that's interesting. The dude on the front doesn't see me. The little skull on the back does. And then he flips around. Oh, okay. I understand how those dudes work now. Back to my door. Here we go. A door we go. A door is a jar. All right. Well, that was uh, none game progress. Pretty much. No, yeah, that was. No, because we got the we got the elevator and we got to the. Crow's camp or whatever. So it was some game's progress. But, um... It's not super soon, but I'm gonna end stream there. This is about my usual length anyway. And, uh, the live letter is here in half an hour or so, which I want to go watch. So, uh, if you tuned in, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you didn't, then... You're not hearing this, so it doesn't matter. Have a good night. And catch you with Death's Door next time. <laughs>